Now, Governor Jindal, on Tuesday, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee was on the program with me, and I asked him what his reaction would be if the Supreme Court strikes down state marriage amendments, limiting marriage to one woman and one man. And he counseled, uh, look, that doesn't mean it's so. The Supreme Court doesn't make the law quasi-nullification theory, about which I said, you know, that's not really how we do it. What would your reaction be to a Supreme Court decision uh, striking down uh, and opening the way for same-sex marriage in all 50 states? Well, a couple of things. First, let's certainly hope that doesn't happen, because we in Louisiana, we've got in our state constitution marriage between a man and a woman By the way, enacted at a time when we had a Democratic governor and a Democratic majority in the House and the Senate, uh, it was enacted pretty easily, by the way. But if the Supreme Court strikes that down, what's your advice going to be to your your office holders in the state and the county clerk? Well, look, I'm I'm all for it. I know that folks in D.C., Ted Cruz and others have talked about amending the Constitution. If that's what we need to do to get the court out of this business and out of trying to redefine marriage, I'm all for it. But but that, that would be down the road. If the court strikes it down, will the county clerks of Louisiana Louisiana be obliged, in your view of the law, to go ahead and issue those marriage licenses? Well, look, let, let's see the ruling. I, I don't want to start talking about hypotheticals. Right now, our federal judge in New Orleans is actually upheld. We've got one of the few federal judges that's actually upheld our state law, our state constitution. I don't think, that, I hope, and I don't think the Supreme Court will go that far in throwing out something that was, was so overwhelmingly uh, supported by the people of Louisiana. Let's actually wait and see what the ruling says before we decide how we're going to respond. But I would hope and pray they would respect the will of the people and, uh, and the tradition and the history of the institution of marriage. 